All right, and looks like we are live. Hello, hello, everybody. How you guys doing today? Uh, today's date is Saturday, September the 3rd. Welcome back to the Daily Digital Show. My name is Junior, and I am here to connect you with all of the newest things that are kind of going on around in our digital world. So we've got a couple of new topics to talk on today. Uh, the first one is going to be about NFTs. Doja Cat is coming out with her, or has came out with her NFT uh, it's actually really, really nice. It actually brings a new twist to NFTs that I have not seen been done before. The next thing is going to be about Minecraft. Minecraft, I guess it depends on how you look at Minecraft. Minecraft is definitely a wonderful, wonderful game, uh, but you can actually learn a whole lot from Minecraft. And they're actually bringing some learning aspect to their platform. Uh, the next thing is going to also be on the learning tip. Uh, where you can actually learn math inside of quote unquote the metaverse uh, in a new digital way that I think a lot of students are actually going to benefit from uh, quite a bit. And then the last thing is going to be about eBay. The eBay e-commerce platform has been uh, shifting things a little bit, which I use eBay from time to time, but I did not know that they were doing this. So um, stay tuned and we'll jump right back into it. All right, welcome back, everybody. Uh, so the first thing that we have off the block here is going to be about learning math with 3D avatars. So there is a company called House of Math, and they consider themselves as being a one-stop shop for learning math. The platform offers a complete math curriculum for teenagers and also college students. For those going back into school now, this is definitely beneficial. It features animated videos, tutoring, and also more traditional math exercises. House of Math is built around gamification, making the learning experience more fun and easier to follow. Almost 1 million students already use the math portal. As you can see here, they have a, a quick little snippet of what it kind of looks like there. Uh, and it looks like they did this all in one year. I'm not sure when they actually came out, but it looks like just in one year, the um, world of math, world of math, house of math, sorry. The House of Math actually came up with about a million users in that first year um, after the pandemic hit. And there's another little image of what it looks like there. And then, of course, this article is about Ready Play or is by Ready Player Me. And Ready Player Me has been able to integrate their avatars into the House of Math platform. Currently, right now, there are um, 150,000 users using uh, the avatars from Ready Player Me so far. And I guess that's what it kind of looks like there when you use it. Um, and then, of course, you can always add Ready Player Me to your own personal apps. But I want to jump over here to the House of Math website here. And as you can see, they have currently over 950,000 registered users. Uh, I believe these avatars here were probably all created with Ready Player Me, although I don't really recognize some of these outfits on there. So they may have some sort of, um, I don't know, NFT assets that, that kind of go along with it as well. And it's all about gamifying your math experience by creating your own avatar and then choosing a dragon. Different products that they have is a boot camp, which are online math courses with animated instructional videos. They have a math vault math essentials, digital topics, encyclopedia, mentor on demand, games, and of course, study tips. Um, your mentor on demand, they got a free session here, or you can do video chat, or you can do a personal mentor. Got a couple of different prices as well. Sponsors that they have here, a couple of sponsors as well. Uh, and they are global users in 243 territories. Um, so yeah, so you guys, if you are in high school, if you are in college, uh, or if you just want to kind of test out a new way of learning math for maybe your own child or something like that, definitely check out the House of Math. And um, if that doesn't work out for you, you can always come over here to Minecraft, where pretty much all of the kids are now on as well either minecraft or roblox uh they're all learning on you know these different platforms learning how to code and whatnot but what minecraft is doing is that they are actually taking a little bit step further by turning their whole entire 
marketplace into a learning platform just for a couple of days though <laughs> they don't want to scare away the kids too badly so between august 30th and september 6th like i said today is september the 3rd minecraft marketplace is going back to school and celebrating learning with a whole host of educational treats just for you your friends and also your family to enjoy it includes a free map of minecraft education and the noble peace center um, so yeah, so you can join in on the Worlds of Learning event just by going over there. Um, all you have to do is log in to play the free Peace Builders adventure, and also look at other different um, uh, other different ones that they have there as well. Uh, looks like they have discover their stories and learn from their experiences as you take on challenges like clearing a minefield or rebuilding a post earthquake city and see how your efforts mirror the real life humanitarian benefits of their work. Um, and yeah, so from there, let's see. So we got the, um, yeah, throughout this week long Worlds of Learning event, you'll also find a whole host of curated content to explore and you can get your hands on two free character creator items. Claim your press cap and your press coat. Those are the two free creator items that you can get so that you can really look the part as you investigate all these fantastic adventures. Um, and of course, again, that is going on between um, at the Minecraft marketplace between August the 30th and August the 6th. So you still have about a good couple of days to visit and check that out. All right, so again, with today being Saturday, Saturday, uh, last week I actually started something called spectacular saturdays where i just want to shed light on some people that are doing amazing things around the world last week was about uh, a young guy who was 17 years old and he did a full trip around the world by himself in a airplane because uh, he's a pilot and then i think he last touched down uh on the in the last country when he turned 18 like on his 18th birthday this week is going to also be something amazing but it's not going to be about human beings being amazing it's actually going to be about tech being amazing so apple devices uh of course have all that technology in it and it looks like they're actually saving lives so these apple watches they can sense your heart rate uh, and determine whether your heart rate is falling or other stuff that's going on with your body and if it ever detects anything that is abnormal, out of the ordinary, uh, it will alert you and say, hey, are you OK? It's going to check on you. And if you are not OK, if you can't respond or anything like that, it's going to automatically dispatch the authorities, police, paramedics, firefighters, what have you, uh, to your exact location. Because, again, it's an Apple Watch. It's all on GPS. Uh, so it knows your exact location as well. And this article that I have here. Which says Apple Watch saves man's life after hard fall from an electric bike was published on February 1st, 2022. And this is on appleinsider.com. Well, the funny thing about this is that I, you know, run through this whole article, read through everything, got here down at the bottom, and it mentioned another case where it says on Monday it was reported that emergency services saved an unconscious man in Marlowe, Georgia after his Apple Watch detected a fall and alerted local authorities. Um, so I was like, oh man, that's cool. That just saved someone else. So I clicked on that, took me to another article link here, and then I scrolled down again. And then it actually mentioned again, this January 20, 2022 is one of the latest of very similar incidents, including one from November of 2021, where an 85 year old's uh, life was saved in Ottawa. So I clicked on that too. <laughs> and then it went down again, read through this article and it's like every single time I clicked on one article I end up falling down a humongous rabbit hole uh, of plenty plenty of times that these Apple watches actually saved a person's life uh, just by having it on uh, as you can see here uh, a guy back in September 2021 uh, 24 year old motorcyclist was brought to the hospital after a hit and run somebody hit him on his bike motorcycle and then you know took off or whatever uh, when his Apple Watch detected that he had taken a hard fall. And also in July, a Michigan woman called the Apple, uh, credited the Apple Watch for saving her life by detecting she had a high heart rate that was caused by a heart attack. Uh, I even saw one, I forget how far back I went, but I even saw one that said 
uh, a lady was able to use her Apple i not the iPod, geez, um, AirPods. <laughs> had to use her Apple AirPods uh, in order to just call 911. I'm assuming I, I don't have AirPods myself, but I'm assuming uh, she just, just, you know, brought it on, however, um, but maybe calling on Siri and then my dog again. <laughs> uh, maybe calling on Siri and then after that, she went ahead and um, uh, was able to call 911 from that. Uh, and again, this is, I mean, this is just amazing how far this technology grows. I know a lot of people are afraid of it. Uh, I myself am a big fan of my personal security and stuff like that. Uh, but when I hear about things like this, I definitely uh, want to shed some light on it. Just so not everybody has to be afraid of technology. It can actually save your life uh, in many different ways. All right. So the next thing that I have for you guys here today is going to be eBay. So eBay and this article here was first published May 11th of 2021 at 2.21 p.m. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, but this says that eBay officially opens its platform to NFT sales. So again, if you remember, 2021 was a pivotal year for NFTs, but it wasn't until about September, October, November when they really started to take off. So eBay saw the trend back in May. Unfortunately, again, I'm just, I mean, I won't say unfortunately, this is my first time hearing about eBay and them opening up their doors to NFTs. But um, unfortunately, to my opinion, uh, OpenSea really took the took the lead on that one. I guess I'm, I'm just not hearing about this for the first time. And I don't use eBay too, too often. I don't, I, I'm assuming they just didn't market it that much. They didn't know how big NFTs were going to blow up back then anyway. So they just, you know added in that functionality but didn't really push it but i mean in my opinion everybody is familiar with ebay so i think everybody would have uh trying to or try to trend in that direction there uh so it says here users can bid on nfts as they would for just a physical item all payments will be made in us dollars which i'll show you how here later uh, unlike other prominent nft platforms which usually accept either eth or nft payments um, so, I mean, even before OpenSea, again, this is May 11, 2021, even before OpenSea was able to, um, uh, add in that functionality for, you know, us dollar sales and stuff like that for that currency, uh, eBay already had this on and popping. Uh, many of the NFT currently available for sale on eBay appear to be on the wax blockchain with sellers stipulating that buyers create a wax wallet in order to receive their NFT. Uh, I mean, you gotta have some form of digital wallet, so I don't, don't see too much with that. Uh, so then I came over here to this other article. This is a more lengthier article, which looks like it's kept up to date. It was last updated July 25th, 2022. Um, and the pros and cons of it. So the pros is that it accepts fiat currency. I would say this is definitely a pro. Uh, just because more people can access it now. Uh, most NFT marketplaces do not accept payment methods such as PayPal and credit card, which may turn away inexperienced user. Definitely true. Uh, it's a trusted seller. Like I said, eBay has been around for years. They are a major e-commerce platform, probably the, one of the largest one out there, especially for like auctions. Um, I mean, they're right up there with, with Amazon, in my opinion. Um, so yeah, they are a trusted vendor that have gone through a vetting process and can sell NFTs on eBay's platform, uh, meaning that you are at much less risk of being scammed by repl replicas. Uh, a couple of cons though, it has a limited range. So eBay has an extremely limited range of NFTs on offer, especially compared to other NFT marketplaces like OpenSea and Rarible. I mean, this is only because again, I don't know if eBay has really done a lot of marketing in that sense. But the reason why they have a limited range is because, you know, people who create these NFTs are not putting it on their platform. Uh, they don't, they themselves aren't coming out with the NFTs, so you can't really, you know, blame them on that one. Uh, money back guarantee, not for NFTs. Uh, so while eBay has a policy to protect most transactions on the platform, this guarantee doesn't include NFTs. So stay vigilant. I can see that. Again, it's all about the smart contracts, uh, what is inside of that. I mean, there's no reason why someone can't code in there, smart contract, money back guarantee. Uh, but I don't think that is something that the uh, eBay would be taking on. It's an inconvenience. eBay lacks a crypto hug. 
Yes, definitely true, which makes the purchase process more convoluted. Uh, convoluted. Convoluted, sorry. Users have to search subcategories to find listed assets. This is very true. <laughs> I'll show you why here in a second. It was a not a pain, but it was kind of a hassle searching for an NFT I was looking for. Uh, and furthermore, eBay doesn't have native NFT support, meaning that you will need to create a third-party wallet or account to actually receive your digital token. And also inability to create or sell NFTs. At the time of writing, everyday customers cannot mint nor sell NFTs on the eBay platform. Users looking for this functionality will have to use a different marketplace for now. Um, so again, all these things are something that eBay can work on just depending on how the market turns out right now. It doesn't look like, uh, I guess we're in that crypto winter still, so it doesn't look like eBay will need to worry about this too much. But uh, if it definitely wants to be able to sell digital assets as NFT, it would definitely have to you know, work on a few of these things here. And then again, this is a kind of a long article, so I'll let you guys kind of read through this yourselves. But I did want to mention just a few things. Um, one of the things was your payment method. So eBay, blockchain and currency. The eBay NFT marketplace isn't built on a blockchain technology and it requires fiat currency for NFT purchases. Just like any other purchase on the platform, the payment methods that they accept are PayPal, PayPal credit, and also a standard credit card. Uh, what type of NFTs are available on eBay's NFT marketplace? Uh, so right now they have crypto art, they also have some music, and they also have some trading cards. How do you buy these NFTs? Uh, if you plan to buy them, you definitely wanna read through the whole entire description on how that works. Uh, and most will require you to create a custom Ethereum wallet and inform the seller of the wallet's delivery address which is a little bit of a hassle in that my case um, for a full guide on the comparison. They have a link here for that. Uh, you can also sell NFTs on there if you want to do that. Uh, they have a couple of fees. So be careful with these fees. Um, there is a seller fee, just like everything that is sold on eBay. NFT sales have a flat fee that is equivalent to 5% of the total sale amount. The seller fee on eBay depends on the items you are selling. Shoes, for example, range from 8% to 12.9% depending on the gender and price. Interesting, why would it depend on gender? Uh, so it's nice to know that the NFTs have a flat fee of 5%. Um, yeah, then it goes on, you know, kind of talking about eBay a little more there. Um, so yeah, so you guys let me know what you think about that. Again, I've never heard of eBay NFT marketplace until I, until I started to do some digging did some research on them and stuff like that. Uh, so it's quite interesting to see what they have in store. Uh, and one of the things they have in store is Fresh Fruit by Doja Cat and JBL Audio. Uh, this NFT collab drops featuring a series of digitally designed headphones with sweet perks. Um, so this is actually pretty interesting. The reason why is because these NFTs, well, I, let me take that back. Not all these NFTs, some of these NFTs actually have an AR aspect to it, augmented reality. Um, so each fresh fruit was artfully conceptualized by Doja Cat herself, a series of fashion forward 3D fruit themed JBL headphones. Buyers can gain exclusive access to Doja Cat's headlining performance at JBL Fest 2022 with added perks across the NFT drops, including early access to iconic JBL products and events, AR simulations, and more. Each fresh fruit by Doja Cat and JBL audio NFT unlocks larger than life JBL music moments. Um, so I believe JBL Fest, did they mention the actual day for JBL Fest? I don't think so. Uh, they do have a couple of people who are going to be featured at there at the brand's newest global ambassador, uh, the Kit Leroy, uh, Baby, Baby Rexa, DJ Tiger Lily, and platinum selling DJ producer Martin Garrix, which I would definitely go see. Okay, yeah, that's 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 a good one. Um, it would bring the festival to an electrifying close. Uh, so yeah, as I mentioned, so there's two places where you can actually get these NFTs. 
Um, these NFTs can be found either on eBay or on One Of. So if you haven't heard of One Of, uh, it's just basically stands for One of One. And it's like an open sea, it's just a you know an NFT marketplace uh, where you can you know get different NFT items and stuff like that. Uh, so these actually dropped on August the twenty fifth, two thousand twenty two, and they ran through September the first. Each NFT themed around Doja's favorite fruits provide tiered access to JBL and Doja Cat events headed ahead of the during and during the JBL Fest two thousand twenty two. Um. So the first one is the green tier that dropped the 25th of August. They have blueberry digital headphones. Uh, these were free. The next one is the gold tier, which is on one of one. And uh, this is on August the 25th. These were lemon, di lemon digital headphones and they were cost of $10. The next was another gold tier, which is on eBay this time that dropped August the 30th. And these were strawberry digital headphones and they cost $20 and there was only 499 of those made. Uh, so those are definitely limited edition uh, diamond tier. Now eBay again, August 30th. These are limited edition orange digital headphones that cost $1,250 and only 20 of those were made. Uh, and you get like a lot of perks to that. You get, you guys can read the perks here as well. And then on September 1st, we had the platinum tier that dropped, uh, which are the great digital headphones. Uh, these only cost $50 and they cost, uh, there were 2,500 of these that are actually made. Uh, and platinum holders can win guaranteed access to JBL Live, exclusive access to JBL events, a fidgetal card to unlock Doja Cat VR simulation, and a chance to win a diamond, another diamond NFT. Holders get early access to select discounts and iconic products uh, so there's one image of them the, of the headphones there um which i believe that's the orange one i think that might be the orange one i'm gonna jump over here to ebay so again when you go to ebay um it's kind of hard to find their nfts and whatever you just have to kind of like standard search for them so i just type in jbl nft if anybody wants to actually go and grab one of these uh, as i mentioned the this one here is 1,000, which one was 1,250? Uh, yeah, orange. So orange was 1,250 and the strawberry was $20. So these are orange and strawberry on eBay Marketplace. You guys can, I mean, I can click on one just so you can see. Uh, you can do $54 for 24 months if you wanna do a, a PayPal credit on that. And so far and so forth. And then also when you go to one of one, um, this one was real simple and easy. I mean, it, she's right here on the latest drops of NFTs um, currently live. There's other other artists NFTs coming out as well. But I'm gonna stay on focus on her. So yeah, Fresh Fruit by Doja Cat and JBL. And as you can see here, it has all of them. The Blueberry, which was free. Definitely go and grab one. Uh, you don't really need anything to get this just an account of one on one of one uh, that you can just instantly get it uh, and then if you want to export it out into your digital wallet you can do that as well uh, you also have the lemon one here which is 10 bucks which you can grab the strawberry one which is uh, uh maybe sold out i guess I don't know. they don't really say the price here i'm gonna click on strawberry diamond this was uh, orange this one was on a uh, Oh, this probably don't say the price because these are on eBay. That's probably why. Um, so yes, I'm gonna, what's this down here? Okay, a bunch of stuff on there about that. I'm gonna just click on one so you can see it. Uh, I'll click on the lemon one. And these actually, oh, this is the one that come with the AR simulation. Uh, so you can actually use this as a filter, these headphones on your you know, personal image or whatever. Um, and so on and so forth. All right. Um, so yeah, so you guys let me know what you think about that. I think it is actually pretty cool that Doja Cat is kind of getting into the NFT space uh, and partnering up with, you know, JBL Audio, placing those right on eBay. Um, so again, that kind of brings some light to eBay as far as NFT sales and stuff like that. Um, and then uh, one of one, I've heard nothing but, you know, good things about them. I don't think anything uh, it's issue with that and then I mean they're, they're fairly cheap in my opinion um, 20 bucks for a um, 
an NFT is not <laughs> not bad at all. Um, so yes, you guys let me know what you think about all of those different articles that I have for you guys today. Please do let me know in the comments uh, so that I can get some feedback on that. Also, please do subscribe uh, and or like the video as well. Uh, take me up on all of my social media channels. Let me know what you guys have going on as far as this digital space that we are currently in. And uh, until then, you all have a great rest of your day.